Hey, man, Top Dollar Killer CEO, right back at you, man. Um, I, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that's been tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Man, I know a lot of people have uh, just started subscribing and watching the videos. There's a lot of people that just started watching the videos. Today, we're going to give you guys a lot of free game and a lot of free knowledge. We're going to show you guys some puppies. We're going to show you guys some whelping. We're going to show you guys some new dogs. We're going to show you guys some upcoming dogs. We're going to show you guys a breeding. Uh, east to the west, best of the best. Every day, all we do is work, man. Like I said, I appreciate you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Um, my number will be on here. If you see my number on any of these videos, you can contact me personally, man. First and foremost, like I said, we're going to go in here and uh, go do some whelping. Uh, we got direct Gula King American Bully Puppies. And also, we got direct puppies off of that boy um, Dapper Dan Frenchies. We got puppies off of uh, Crazy Bone. Uh, we got some puppies off Pink 30 back there. We got uh, 30 Junior Daughter back there. We got a big rope, uh, Isabella pregnant with Pink 30, man. We got a lot of stuff going on, man. I'm going to take you to a couple of my kennel partners' house also, show you some of their upcoming breedings and litters. Top Dollar Kennel CEO. I appreciate everybody that's subscribing and viewing. If you haven't, please share. East to the West. Man, last year we went all the way to Northern California. We picked up three females, and we also went to the uh, the Bully Camblon show. The females we picked up was an El Toro daughter and two females off of uh, her. Uh, we got one female that dropped the litter. She's off of um, an El Toro Loco son, bred to a stir fry daughter. El Toro Loco is Tasmanian Devil. Uh, stir fry is off of uh, Dizzy Devil. Uh, you, you can also see right here on the bottom on the on the, on the bottom. On the bottom side is stir fry again. So it's two times stir fry. Uh, like one, two, three, three time devil spit. Two times stir fry, three time devil spit, one time Taz, one time El Toro Loco. Her dad is Monster. Her mom is a stir fry daughter. Uh, on the bottom is a tri dog named Romeo daughter. Uh, we bred her to a producing dog named. Uh, Crazy Bone. Crazy Bone is a well-known producing dog out of Texas. I'm finna show you his pedigree. So you can see how the line breed these dogs to get, you know what I'm saying, magnificent, fabulous outcome. Uh, when you line breed, it pretty much bring the consistency out of the blood. Right. Shout out to that boy, uh, uh, Trap, Trap Baby Exotics. Uh, Trap Baby is a, is a guy, a younger breeder from uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, my kennel partner, Weatherford, he took the female out there to San Antonio, did a live breeding. Crazy Bone basically is off of a uh, Dizzy Devil uh, son named Busy Bone to Chewy, uh, bred to some Prince blood. Soji, little mate sister, is Indica. Indica is off of Chewy, which is a babe son to uh, like a Prince female. They took that to some Dizzy Devil spit blood and created Crazy Bone. He pretty much throws his look consistently. He's a lilac and white dog that throws some good bows and structure. That's why we did this breeding. We wanted to lock in those bows. We wanted to lock in that lilac, that full tail, that real bull body, uh, the fully functional. She's also, she kind of looks similar to him also, so we want to lock in that look. Okay, your main thing you want to do when breeding, you want to take three, four steps forward and never not three, four steps back. You know what I'm saying? So you want to breed for consistency. You want to breed for a certain look and never go back to chase another look until you got that look down to the T. So this right here, we got a lilac female bred to another lilac male, putting some more structure on it, putting some more uh, uh, heavy devil spit on it. Like I said, it's heavy uh, dizzy, heavy Taz, uh, heavy uh, devil spit, basically a heavy devil spit dog uh, with outs of vape and outs of, uh, that's pretty much it. It's a devil spit breeding, basically heavy dizzy devil. Uh, two times stir fry, like three, four times Dizzy Devil, El Toro Loco, man. It's just crazy, man. I'm just going to show you the, the puppy. Uh, you know, she's a very excellent mom. She loves to clean. It's very important to have a good mom when you're doing breeding. Uh, when you come across good moms, you don't get rid of them. This female, she loves to clean. This female, she loves to feed. She's very, uh, she's very alert when it comes to her puppies. We just, uh, you know, got her from outside. She's outside simply because... You want to keep her hydrated. You want to keep her, you know, uh, fresh. You know, fresh air. Uh, you want to let her be able to use the bathroom. 
as she wants. As you notice, she went straight to cleaning. You put the pups in there with her so she can clean them for a while before feeding. Right here is an incubator. I've been having this for a long time. As you can see, it got USB oil stickers on it. Uh, I currently just picked this one back up from a friend. I had let him borrow it. This is a Pet Brooder 90. You know, we got the temperature gauge right here, the humidity right here. You plug this thing up. This is the uh, O2 nebulizer. You put the uh, oxygen. Okay, it got a water tube right here. You, you put some new sterilized water, uh, plug it in right here. You put in fresh air O2. This O2 nebulizer. This is to keep you guys, uh, dogs, from aspirating and you want to put any, you know, medication into the air. Yo. Hey. Yeah. What's up? Hey, this a, if she didn't eat, this a first one or second one? It's our first one. Oh, shit. Okay. You, did you get the okay. results? No, it's at about an hour. All right, bet. Let me call you back. <laughs> That's my boy Top Dollar Kennels ATL. We got a direct, uh, Throne daughter in heat over there. She's thrown mixed with the throne mixed with the uh Fort Knox. But look, check these puppies out. Like I said, heavy devil spit, Taz El Toro Loco, these El Toro Loco grand pups, uh, lilac and white male, pooping right now. So what you want to do when you pull them pups out, you want to put them right on the mom's face so she can clean them. Mom's job is to clean, as you can see, these puppies are 100 percent healthy. Uh they moving around pretty good, they're thick. Um, shout out to my boy Top Dollar Kennels Weatherford. This is his female. I'm over here whelping a litter for him. Uh, he franchised with me. Uh, I co-owned this female with him and uh, pretty much showed him what I thought from my experience would be good to breed. Um, we got the heavy devil spit, uh, El Toro Loco, Crazy Bone, uh, Two Times Stir Fry, uh, Tasmanian Devil, uh, male right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, shout out to him because he kept his female very healthy. He put on a lot of uh, prenatal vitamins. When you're doing this and you breed your female, make sure you get them prenatal vitamins from the day you breed her. He put on some cranberry pills. He put on a lot of good stuff, man. I got an uh, online course. Uh, if you want to contact me and learn more about whelping and uh, how to line breeding and, you know, pretty much the ins and outs of breeding these bullies, um, I do have the online course. It's at $1,000. It's 90 episodes. It'll take you days and days and weeks and weeks to watch all those episodes, learn the A through Z game on how to whelp, how to breed, how to promote yourself, how to register these dogs, how to DNA test these dogs, everything. Uh, so this is another male, smaller male, good body on them. These puppies are a week old. Uh, I don't know if this is the last male. So there's two males right here, lilac and white like I told you guys was going to be. Um, this is what I got, a bigger one and a smaller one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, heavy devil spit, looking very good at the, at an early age. Here goes another male, no tail. Right here, he's more compact, he's more muscular. He got a bigger head, more smashed head. This no tail comes from, uh, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm guessing it comes from the uh, dizzy devil side. Cause stir fry all them dogs got tails, the El Toro got tail. But as you can see, it's urinating immediately and it's uh, poop. After every feeding, dog, the puppies need a valve movement. Uh, valve movement means before you feed, they got to poop. After you feed, they got to poop. Uh, pretty much as soon as she start licking, they poop. So these, uh, uh, they, on a, they got a pretty good digestive system. So I showed you guys three males so far. You want to let her lick them until they're done uh, using the bathroom. Your females, you want to keep them clean. Um, if you could, bathe them often to keep everything from outside, you know, uh, off of the puppies. You know what I'm saying? Keep that mom clean. As you notice, she's having a lot of poop on her face. Some moms, when you get into these breeds, they don't. Some moms, you have to show them and teach them that they supposed to clean their puppies. Okay, right here we got two lilac and white. Very thick, very healthy puppies. We got one female on this side, one male on this side. Both of them super girthy, full tail. One of them got a little poop. We're gonna see if it uh it already pooped or it needs to poop. 
It's a good female right here. She don't mind cleaning. Like I said, some females, when you breed them, they want, don't want to clean. They won't clean. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to, uh, when the puppies, when the puppies come out, sometimes you gotta like rub the puppy on the mom's face to get them, get them to know what to do exactly. Uh, this female, we skipped her first heat, so she's about a year and a half. We we pretty much skipped her heat, so she can be more mature. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you breed them too early. They, they're, they're, they're not settled enough to raise a puppy. They want to jump around, they don't want to clean, they don't want to lick, they barely want to feed. So this is a good female, she produced pretty good. I'm gonna show you that last, I'm gonna show you that last female. That's a male. So before you feed and after you feed, you always want to wash your hands. I just got dressed. Oh, this is that little crazy female right here. She got a big old neck. Go neck, nice body. So she's pretty much done lick most of them, if not all of them. You wanna grab her by her back leg and her front leg and turn her sideways, make her lay to the side. A good mom doesn't mind laying to the side to feed her pups. So look, mom laying down, she's pretty relaxed. She's letting them feed. They gonna stay on here for about 30, 40 minutes. Uh, after they feed, you go another clean them again. You know what I'm saying? How you know they full? You see how this dog's size sticking out? It'd be a little tight. You feel it? When it's a little tight, they're full. A lot of times, another way you know, they'll, they'll fall off and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You just latch them on, put them on their nipple, and watch them. Make sure you're watching them, because sometimes they eat too fast and milk will come out their nose. This one don't like that nipple right there, so I'm gonna put them. They eat too fast. So if they eat too fast, you'll notice milk come out their nose. That's called aspirating. That's something you do not want want to see, and that's something you do not want them to do. So you want to be very consistent with feeding every two hours. Now this whelping process is going to be draining. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, you're going to be tired. I haven't got much sleep. I have to wake up every two hours, and sometimes in the middle of the night when I try to go to sleep, I can't sleep. So I haven't been asleep. Uh, you haven't got much sleep within these last couple of days, but um, you know it's all well worth it when uh, I'm doing what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? This is some that me and Weatherford put together, lime bread. You know what I'm saying? Uh, El Toro Loco, granddaughter, uh, bred to a two-time stir fry uh, female, bred directly to uh, a busy bone, which is a dizzy devil. Uh, grandson, you know, dizzy devil uh, grandson, busy bone. A uh, son, dizzy devil, grandson. So this breeding is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's about four or five times devil spit. If you don't know that dizzy devil is a devil spit son, you know what I'm saying? So you got dizzy devil, you got Tasmanian devil, uh, you got El Toro Loco, you got two times stir fry, and you got the uh, Soji. Soji is a dog based out of Texas that was producing pretty good. Uh, a lot of people that's in this dog game, from my knowledge and experience, they don't they don't know about the soldier blood because it was produced in Texas. A lot of the most known and the, the demand for the dogs is based out of California. Um, they are pretty much the culture of the dog breeding. They pretty much started it. Um, a lot of people from all over breed it, you know, breed them. But the 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 politics is really based out of California. Uh, come look at this. This female right here got so much milk, she's so healthy that it's dripping. I, I turned on her side, I haven't even put a puppy up there, and it's dripping milk. That's what you want from your females. That's what that, uh, that's what those vitamins, that's what those vitamins early does, uh, leading up into the, leading up into the, uh, the C-section, leading up into the labor. You want to give them, them, them all them vitamins. The prenatal vitamins, the sure grows, the uh, cranberry pills, keep that, that female very healthy. And like I said, I do have an online course for this uh, showing you and telling you more in depth on what to do and how to do it. Today I wanted to give some free games to everybody that's subscribing. So we're going to let these pups eat and we're going to show you some more pups. Please stay tuned. Pups reading, we're going to go through, uh, you know, talk about the, the festival. For you guys that 
you know, that don't know we had the Top Dollar Festival October 29th. You know what I'm saying? We originally had it at uh, Cedar Dew Ranch. Due to the weather, we had to make some changes. It was supposed to rain that day. It was a cold front that day, and nobody knew until a couple days out. It was about four days out. I was checking the weather, and it was saying it was supposed to rain, and it was going to be real cold. So I had to hurry up and try to find another venue uh, to throw this, this big festival at. You know what I'm saying? For you that don't know, we had the Sauce Walker Car Show. We had uh, D-Baby, No Cap, Big Boogie, uh, Lil Jeremy. Uh, performing. There's never been a dog show like this. It made number seven for the uh, top 23 dog shows of 2023. Uh, for my first dog show, I think I pre did pretty good. Now, like I said, due to the weather, it didn't turn out how I was originally planning and originally supposed to. It was an outside event. We, I still went through with it. I was going to reschedule it, but once I made the announcement of rescheduling it, a lot of people that travel was like, hey, man, we already on the way. We already on the road. Please don't schedule. We made arrangements. So I didn't want to let the people down, you know what I'm saying, that was already on the way. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to let my fans and followers down that was already looking forward to the event. So I found another venue, uh, and we did it. You know, it was so packed that the five marshals ended up shutting it down. We weren't able to have those artists perform. Uh, D-Baby still ended up performing. Uh, but... The other artists wasn't able to come. It was food trucks everywhere. There was a lot of dogs out there. We had uh, trophies. We gave away ten of uh, twenty thousand uh, dollar Frenchie ring. Uh, shout out to that boy uh, Cartoon Bullies. He won it with his boy uh, Cartoon. He won the, the ring with his, with his boy Cartoon. A lot of people won trophies. Um, my, the dude who made the ring for me have a go day. Shout out to him. He gave away a Cuban link chain. Uh, like I said, I appreciate everybody that came out and supported. Due to the weather, we had to make some changes. We still went through with it. We did the best we could. But now we're working on number two, and this one will be 100% inside. You don't want to worry about no rain. You don't have to worry about no weather. Or it'll be in a much warmer temperature. You know what I'm saying? I was working on spring break, but it's it's going to be January 1st in a couple of days. So I don't want to rush it. You know what I'm saying? I want everything to be nice. I want it to be more professional. I want it to be more organized. When we changed that venue, after that, four days away, everything kind of got all over the place. I had to, you know, make some adjustments, arrangements myself. Uh, there was tons of people out there. You know, I, I, I heard some good stuff and I heard some bad stuff. I heard security was treating people a certain type of way and charging people a certain type of way and all type of, you know, stuff that I could not control. Now, for this next one, uh, like I said, we will be more organized with more professional people. Uh, I did all this alone. I don't have a team. So the the turnout was all based off of me, you know what I'm saying, alone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do have my franchise members. They, a lot of them came out. We had some come from Chicago. Uh, we had some come from Louisiana. We had some come from Atlanta. We had franchise members come from all over. We had uh, Top Dollar Kennels, uh, Carolina. He bought two big rope fluffies out there. A lot of people made sales, you know, a lot of people got good exposure. I'm hearing it was a different vibe, it was a very different dog show. We had a boxing match there. Uh, in between the, the dog categories, we had like a, 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 a boxing gloves, you know what I'm saying, uh, amateur fighters, you know what I'm saying. They did a, a, a couple rounds in the ring. Uh, I have my friend, he's going to come whip these puppies while I take you guys to show you guys some more stuff. Uh, please leave comments, please subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions or concerns, like I said, leave comments or call my phone. Uh, if you want to know more about the weapon, the medications, uh, how to prevent stuff, the course, the course, the course, the course. It's only $1,000. It's 90 episodes. There's no expiration date on that course, so you can watch it however many times. Uh, these puppies got fed about an hour ago, so some of them are already full. Now, what you want to do is watch these puppies and make sure nothing wrong with them. Sometimes when they fall off early or stop eating fast, there's something going on with their insides. Maybe they have already aspirated. Uh, so you want to wash these puppies, wash their poop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's hard, but it's easy at the same time. This little male here crazy. I wonder, I wonder how he gonna turn out. But he was the first one to fall off right after that. We're going to put him in front of the mom see if he got to use a bathroom. Uh, 
a cameraman just asked me something. He asked me, does she eat the poop? So the mom's tongue, the moisture from her tongue and her mouth on their stomach, that's what makes them use the bathroom. If you got a mom that's not cleaning, what you want to do is get some wipes. You know, you, you, you rub their areas, and that'll make them use the bathroom. But uh, she, the way it's supposed to go, she's supposed to lick them, and that's what causes them to have a bowel movement. Uh, warm moisture and uh, on, their, on their stomach, like a, 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 a washcloth or really, really a wipe is best. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you pretty much, you know, rub it on their, 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 their bottom or, or their vagina or their penis or their stomach or whatever and just pretty much rub it until they use the bathroom. See right now it's pooping. So sometimes it takes them a while to do it, sometimes they do it right away. You see how she kind of stopping? I pretty much just rub it like on her face to make her keep going and that'll make that poop come on out. It's coming out slowly. That puppy and put it to your ear and see how it's breathing. If it's breathing stuffy, like it's got like a, like coal or something in its, in its nose, it's probably from the milk. So what you wanna do when you hear that stuffy Running, that means it got milk in his nose and it's finna get to his lung. If he get to his lung, that's what causes pneumonia. That's what the aspirating is. You know, uh, the milk getting his lung, there's, you can give it a little antibiotics like moxicillin, uh, Clevermox, I mean, a little Clevermox, you give it like Clevermox liquid to try to uh, kill that infection in the lung. If that milk in the lung then cause an infection, that pup is going to, uh, his lungs is going to fail, you know what I'm saying, due to the milk being in his lungs. So you want to, Put them to your ear and make sure you hear like it sound clear. Get the straw. If they're not sounding clear and it sounds stuffy, you put that straw in his nostril and blow, and it'll blow that milk out the other side of his nose before it gets in his lung. Look, see that? I noticed it sounded a little stuffy. I blew in that nose and that nostril and knocked that milk out of there where, where it could uh, breathe properly. You know what I'm saying? And get that milk up out of his body. Like I said, some, if they fall off early, sometimes usually it means something going on, something wrong. So you can put that puppy to your ear and listen to his breathing and know know if it's, it's something going on with his, his body. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to sound clear. It's supposed to breathe pretty much consistent. So it's breathing good. It doesn't sound stuffy. Now you're probably back ready to eat. Easy. If you notice that puppy went right back to eating when I was trying to latch him a while ago, he would not eat. So you want to watch him. You want to be very careful because that milk coming out their nose and getting their lungs It'll cause their insides and intestines to shut down and that puppy won't make it. And sometimes it comes from them being greedy. Sometimes it comes from them being too hungry. If you're not on top of them every two hours on the mark, uh, it'll cause them to eat very fast. And them eating very fast, it'll go down too fast and it'll go down the wrong way. So now you notice that all the other ones pretty much have fallen off. He don't want up there. He fell off first. Now they pretty much full. Breathing pretty good and it's pretty clear. But you can still check, blow a little bit, see. Nothing. This good. Put it in front of her face, let her clean it. Hello? Hello, hey, did you say something about the airport? Yeah, go get that box from the uh from the airport. I'm finna send you I'm finna send you the it's Southwest Cargo. I'm finna send you the uh the flight bill number. Alright, then Southwest Cargo? 
Yeah, I'm finna send you all the info you need. She's trying to get protective right now. That stomach pretty fat. It's pretty tight. The dog is full. This is what causes that dog to urinate. Her licking it right there where supposed to urinate and poo from, that'll cause to have a bad move. The ones that eat pretty fast and eat too much, I want to put them closer to those front nipples that's not too big, and the big ones that eat a lot, I want to put them toward the back. Notice his pen. She's cleaning it. That's to keep that dog uh, digestive system going. Keep it cleaned out. You don't want it to get too stocked up. Then it get below it, or it can't poop at all. Uh, good mom, good food, good feeding. That's what you want. She's pooping now. Like I said, some moms won't clean their puppies, so you wanna you wanna keep and take care of those good moms. You know what I'm saying? That that does their job. She is a El Toro Loco two times stir fry female. El Toro is off of Tasmanian Devil. Stir Fry is off Dizzy Devil. Stir Fry and El and Dizzy and Stir Fry and Tasmanian Devil both are off of Devil Spit. They're Devil Spit sons. So, huh? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Google. Google going. This is how you look up these dogs. You go to uh, Stir Fry, Stir Fry Bully Pet X. It's BWA Stir Fry. It should pull up his pedigree. Oh, it's, you got to become a, a, a member to see that on that page. Let's see if it's on this one. Okay. So El Toro Loco is a Tasmanian Devil. He's a Tasmanian Devil son, and so is Dizzy Devil. Dizzy Devil is off Tasmanian Devil, and Tasmanian Devil is off of Devil Spit. So she's a Tasmanian. She's a Tasmanian Devil granddaughter. She's an El Toro Loco daughter. El Toro is a Tasmanian Devil son. Stir fry which she is two times stir fry. Also, stir fry is a dizzy devil son. Dizzy devil is a Tasmanian devil son. So she's three times Tasmanian devil, three times devil spit. Two times stir fry, El Toro Loco. She's El Toro Loco, uh, two times stir fry. Stir fry is off dizzy devil. Dizzy Devil is off Taz. Two times Dizzy Devil, three times Tasmanian Devil, El Toro Loco. That's, that's how you uh, break down that pedigree. Busy Bone is also off of Dizzy Devil. So on the top and the bottom, these puppies are Dizzy Devil. Uh, three time Dizzy Devil from her side, one time Dizzy Devil from his side. So they're four times Dizzy Devil, four times Tasmanian Devil. 
some heavy dizzy devil Tasmanian devil bred dogs, lilacs, full tails, 100% crazy. So we got another box of semen on the way for another female. Uh, we're gonna show you guys that female and that breeding. All these puppies don't fell off. We're gonna put them back in the incubator. And uh, like I said, if you wanna know more about the whelping, the whelping process, whelping procedures, what to do, what not to do, uh, what to do in case this happens, that happens, how to prevent stuff, the online course is what you need to, uh, you know, purchase. And it's only a thousand dollars. Everything looks good. Short legs. Good spread on it already. Compact already. You know what I'm saying? Nice. You like it? Thank you. All right here we got a black and tan Merle Big Rope uh, produced by my boy Top Dollar Kennel San Antonio. He took a Isabella Fluffy Big Rope uh, named Dapper Dan owned by High End Frenchies and braided two Austin Powers Little Mate Sister and produced female. I've been uh, produced this female. I've been whelping these off my female uh, Bully Easter. Their mom, uh, their mom had passed away. You know what I'm saying? Due to the uh, procedure. She didn't make it out there in San Antonio. Um, I told them bring me the puppies and I was gonna put them on a different mom. And uh, my female Easter, she's a two time, well she's a bull Sachi fat boy female. She's a bull, she's fat boy bred to a bull Sachi daughter. She raised her litter and also uh, two other litters. This is another puppy. This is off a of Gula King bred to a, uh, Gula King bred to a Fort Knox daughter. Their mom wasn't producing good milk and cleaning very well. This is a, uh, a lilac Merle Bully. Uh, she's doing pretty good. A couple of, uh, of her litter mates didn't make it due to uh, hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is basically like a brain tumor, something from the genetics that didn't click right. You know, sometimes you get some of them and uh, it's part of the breeding game. We got that male and we got that Got that male and we got the female. Both of them are tan pointed, both of them are black merles. Uh, they carry testable, they carry cocoa, mm, they tan pointed, mm, cream, uh, no pie, no brindle. It's big road male, I don't know, I might keep them. This female is available. You got my number, you want a pup, you hit me up. I got this, I got these, I got another female also, uh, Bully. She's chocolate tick. So during the day, this is a female off of Easter. She got heavy tickens. You see the uh, chocolate coat with the white feet or the white chest with the chocolate spots on it. That's the chocolate spot and it's called ticking. This is a super small female. She's about four months, about four months old, coming up on four months and she little. I still keep them on mom as long as they want to give them the extra, extra, extra nutrients. So, I give them food, what I do is give them diamond puppy. I put water in it to wet it, make the food soft. Right now, during the day, like I said, they be in my garage. I got a heater in here with a control system on the temperature. Keep them warm, uh, keep everybody with food, keep everybody with water. Uh, now we're gonna show you guys some more puppies in the backyard. Pretty warm outside, we let all the dogs out. If not, keep them outside. When you got it enclosed, we got two dog houses full of hay. We got plenty of dogs to where if they get cold, they pile up on each other, keep each other warm. Right here, we got Top Dollar Kennels NYC. She's a big rope, Isabella Karen Fluffy. Right here, we have our upcoming stud. This is a cream, this is a blue boy covered in cream, uh, full of fluffy. His mom is a curly. Uh, we DNA tested him, he did not have curly in him. But that doesn't mean, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't carry it. We just re DNA test him. This is Dobro. Like I said, he's a blue. He's a he's a blue covered in cream male. He's blue. He carried tan points. He carries testable also. He's super small. He's seven months. He's little for a big rope. His coat is crazy. His look is crazy. This cream this cream color coat is, looks good on him. Uh, he's seven months old. Compact, thick bone. Uh, Good structure on this big rope, fluffy carrying Isabella. This is some new stuff. I know a lot of people are not in tune with the big ropes, but 
that's what's hot and that's what's in demand. That's that's dope, bro. Crazy color coat on it. This female I said is top dollar kennels NYC. She just confirmed. Uh, she is a Isabella and tan, big rope, carrying fluffy. So we took her to Pink Thirty to get those uh get those big rope murals, uh carrying Isabella and Pink. When you carry the Isabella in the pink, that's what make the caramels. We're gonna take you guys to Top Dollar Kennels Flint House to show you guys what caramel is. We got some Pink 30 puppies. Okay, right here we got a chocolate Merle Pink 30 daughter. She carries testable and pink and fluffy. So she's a caramel Merle producer also. Uh, if you want some crazy DNA and structure and like, look at the 10 points on her. Fluffy and testable. That's what she carries. That's it. So if you want some Merle, Isabella's, Fluffies, you know what I'm saying? This is what you get right here. Right here we got a we got a chocolate Merle cowboy daughter. So this female, is, she's like no cap Grinch. She's a structured doll. She don't carry Fluffy, but she carry nice structure. She's pretty thick. If you notice, she's thicker than the other pup. She got more girth on her. She's more smashed. Cause she's a uh, more exotic Frenchie, you know what I'm saying, as far as structure. This is a structure dog. Uh, this little male right here, he carries pink and fluffy, and he carries testable weight on his ears to lift up. Sometimes they up, sometimes they down. Uh, we got two, three more uh, males that carry pink, two, three more females that carry pink and testable. This right here is an American bully. She's a micro, she's off of Karate Body. I bred Karate Body. My boy Top Dollar Kennels, Marlo. Uh, he's at Louisiana, he's a franchise member. He's out of Louisiana, he got uh, a two times, fem two times paintball, inbred brother, sister, chocolate tick female, Top Dollar Kennels underscore uh, Marlo on IG. He produced this female, she uh, co-owned. This is my pick of the litter, because I co-owned the mom with, uh, with my boy Marlo and got this female, super girthy, super thick. Crazy body on her, crazy head piece on her. This is a what you call a complete bull. I like her. You know, she's two times paintball. She's a uh, devil spit also with some China blood. Uh, da Vinci. Karate body is off Da Vinci bred to a uh, boogie. A Da Vinci daughter bred to boogie. Boogie is some uh, devil spit, TBC blood. Uh, she's thick. She hold. Good weight. This is a Merle produced by Top Dollar Kennels, Lil' Chris. She got full tail, good body, thick feet, good head. Uh, she's owned by Top Dollar Kennels NYC also. So we got a lot of puppies over here. Got a lot of dogs over here. Everything healthy, everything, you know what I'm saying, well took care of. Everything stays with water, everything stays with food, everything stays with shelter. It's a good structure, Pink 30. It's the male, look at him. Like I said, healthy. Healthy, thick, and this is directly off Pink 30. He carries pink and he carries testable. This is a good structure, a male with crazy color pattern. Um, if you guys looking for a male pup with good structure and DNA, this is your pick right here. He's, uh, he's a, a blue and tan. Good bows, good structure, good head, smashed up, girthy, pink 30. Chocolate fun with crystal blue eyes. She carried pink also, pink, testable. All those puppies, their mom was a testable female, uh, so all of them carried testable. You know, pink 30 was supposed to pass on the pink to someone, which he did. Four out of, four out of six carried pink. I think five out of six carried pink. Uh, good outstanding litter. Uh, like I said, everything healthy here. Everything eat good, everything sleep good, everything shelter, everything got shots, deworm. Uh, I keep an automatic feeder out here. I just fill it up. And once it gets low, keep a bowl full of water. Come look at this. Automatic feeder. So I fill this up with food. Keep that bowl right there by the door full of water. They can drink all day, they can eat all day. 
You know what I'm saying? They good, have good play time. They got plenty of stuff to bite on, chew on toys. You know what I'm saying? East of the West, best of the best, man. No play play. Top dollar rock wallet. Heavy tell me to our eldest thing female right here. Oh, uh, she just got bread. Okay. Heavy tilt Timmy to our eldest thing female uh, from Siberia. Uh, she's uh, a year old. She just got bread to some uh, Robo -Ro kennel stuff. Uh, we got Top Dollar Kennels Rambo. Uh, we try to breed with Rambo. His semen went good, yeah. He's not old enough yet. He's not shooting. This is some new stuff we got going on. So if you're into protection dogs, you want to protect your family, you're into big dogs and not small dogs, we got all dogs. Top Dollar Kennels Rottweiler, like I said, we just bred her uh, two days ago. So she'll be confirming in about 30 days. Like I said, heavy Timintar, Eldestine right here. Big, thick female, year old. Uh, Top Dollar Kennels Rottweilers. Make sure y'all follow them on IG. Top Dollar Kennels Rottweilers on Instagram. Uh, like I said, just got bred, so we'll be confirming in 30 days, and then 30 days after that, we'll have puppies. So we should have, you know, a Rottweiler litter, Top Dollar Rottweiler litter. Uh, about three, four months. Strong as hell. Real Rottweiler, real Siberian, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, this Top Dollar Kennels Nivelle, this Top Dollar Kennels Rambo, man, TDK, no play play. Sit down, sit. Good girl. Sit, sit. Good boy, Rambo, come here. Big boy Rambo. One for the strong. If you got a Rottweiler and you want some Timitor Edelstein, you know, show quality dogs, monster dogs, Rambo is finna be open for stud. You can lock him in to join his wait list for his puppies. We got Nevaeh pregnant and we got Rambo coming up. Uh, he'll be having puppies soon. Top dollar raw wallets, man. Follow me on Instagram, top dollar kennels underscore CEO. If you in tune raw wallets, follow the raw wallet page, top dollar raw wallets, man. My boy Rodney, super fresh, super fly. He keep these, he keep these feet, these uh, rocks. He house them, feed them. You know he focus on these. I pretty much focus on the other stuff. Uh, this is the top dollar raw wallet program, man. Male and female, 60 days. We'll see you soon. Top dollar kennels Rambo. Hey, man. It's Top Dollar Kennel CEO, man. I had to pull up on my boy TDK Rob, man. This is the newest franchise member. He got his franchise about 30, 45 days ago, man. If you're looking for Rojo and Isabella, man, that's what he specialized in. Before he got his franchise, he had already dropped the Rojo litter. He got this female right here in her production. Uh, she's a Rojo, little brindle owner, you know what I'm saying, coming in heat. And that's her female right there. He bred her to El Jefe, man. He already breeding high quality on high quality, producing high quality. Make sure y'all follow. Top Dollar Kennels underscore FT Worth, right? Yes, sir. FT Worth? Yeah. Top Dollar Kennels Fort Worth, man, based out of Fort Worth. You know I'm based out of Fort Worth, man. I want to introduce you guys to the newest Top Dollar Kennel member, and he does uh, specialize in high quality. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to breed nothing but high quality. He paid $30,000 for the mom. You know what I'm saying? He kept the production. He also got the male. So if you want some structure, some good DNA, some Rojo, some Isabella, some Testable, whatever, 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 you hit up my boy Top Dollar Kennels underscore F T W O R T H. Fort Worth, he got a Rojo and Tan male, it's open for stud, five months old, uh, early bird special. Lock in. Um, you know he's not ready, but you can get that early bird special, man. This is a good guy right here, phenomenal guy. Take good care of his dogs. As you can see, everything healthy. You see the structure on it, you see the quality on the female. The mama got high quality, good structure. We probably finna take her to um, some very outstanding. I ain't gonna release what it is, but 
He whips his own litters. You need your litter whip. Hit up Top Dollar Kennel Fort Worth. My boy also does the trucking. You know what I'm saying? He got his own trucking company. You need some information about that? You hit up Top Dollar Kennels underscore F T W O R T H. Top Dollar Kennels Fort Worth. My boy T D K Rob, man. You see what's going down and you see how we going, man. New franchise member in the motion. Female coming up, finna come in heat. My boy say he finna get back on the road. East to the west, you know how it go, man. No play play. Don't fluffy DNA stacked on top of DNA. Best of the best. You can let it out now. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Take care of the dogs. The dogs gonna take care of you, man. My boy with the new shade and tan female directly off Hefe. You know what I'm saying? And he got the mom right there. You know, he feed him that good origin. He keep everything healthy, man. You want some high quality top dollar Frenchies? You hit up top dollar Kim Fort Worth, man. That's the mom. She's producing this good coat. I might take her to dope rope, produce some more of these big rope with the fluffy on it, man. Good structure on structure, man. Uh, Isabella Rojo, full fluffy, TDK Fort Worth, man. And like I said, he got the male. He got the little mate brother to this female. If you got your sack right, pull up and act right. East to the west. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's starting to get shoulders. Yeah. You know what I'm she's starting to get more girth. The yeah, she's getting that girth on her. The hair face stuff that come out is, yeah. you know, little small dogs. You can see they, it all in here, too. They, they look like small dogs. Your male is super tiny. He's super tiny. But as he gets older, he going to start filling out. He's going to start getting more thicker. He's going to start getting more bone. You can you see know, the, his head going to spread. The, you can see the difference in the mama and the, look at that. Them boy. I love it. She a producer. Yeah, she a producer. She produced good. She produced a little shorter back, more a little bit more girth. I'll hold off on that male. My yeah. boy might trying to sell his male, but we might have to hold we off. We might on have that to male. hold off one time. Just for a little bit. She ain't never rode no car, have she? Who? Yeah. You gonna take her now? Yeah. yeah. I don't she want the hell to throw up throwing up that eating that water. Come but on. She is probably gonna throw. I mean we at the laboratory right now doing deals. My boy Top Dollar Kennels RJ. You see what's going on, TDK, man, no play play. My boy in here with plenty of dog food. You ever need some dog food? You in the DFW area, you near close. My boy got pallets and truck loads and all type of stuff going on. Discounted prices and deals. What all type of dog food you got, boss man? Dog food for large breeds, the cane corsos, rock roller, stuff like that. We got dog food for the bullies. Most bully people like to use that 30-20 mix. We give them that game right there. And then we got puppy food. Uh, the food for uh, sensory skin and stomach. We got food for adults, seven years plus. And then we also got uh, some topper that you put on top of the dry if they like picky eaters. Let me put that on there. But yeah, man, it's different inventory every week, so just check in and I'll let you know what we got. What all do y'all do here? Uh, we do whelping, progesterone tests, reverse progesterone tests, um, AIs, ultrasound, semen analysis. All that here. Uh, puppy whooping. You need something to show his height. What you mean, like put him on live, like he do the stand up? Hey, look, check this out, right? This male right here, nine months old, haven't fully matured, highly fully, haven't fully popped, man, low to the ground. Nano, about five, six inches. Big head on it, man, compact. This is directly off of Throne. Throne bred to a lemon drop daughter. He's a lemon drop grandson. He's a crown grandson. His mom is two-time Borsachi, one-time Carlito also. His dad is crown bred to a Mr. Big daughter. He got the Mr. Big, he got the Borsachi. He got the Carlito. He got the two-times uh, Borsachi, like I said. Best of the best pet, Lilac. Sisters are Lilac Tri. All of the litter mates are lilac. Lilacs and lilac try, he loaded. This is the smallest dog in the DFW at his age. Crazy head, crazy neck, thick rear, compact back, Roku, produced by Top Dollar Kennel CEO. I had to co on with my boy Don Johnson, man. If you don't know, now you know. Don Johnson is the man who does the reproductive work in the DFW, AI, PG, uh, Ultrasound, semen testing, all that, man. Shipping, you see we got the cargo boxes for the little nine-month-old male right here. Roku. Top Dollar Kennels Roku. Co on with my boy Don Johnson, man. Come get you some. We got limited slots and spots. This is the next big thing in the city.
$500 locks you in at 1500 you will send 500 for the deposit, you will owe 1000 You'll get you some nano micros with big head, big neck, fully functional. This dog runs, jumps, plays. He also has a clean bite. You can't get that at this price. You can't get this DNA uh, bred like this because his dad has, his dad is deceased. You know what I'm saying? This is Throne's best son, man. You can't get that strand of the crown from the throne unless you come to the best of the best from the east to the west, man. Like I said, nano, micro, nine months old, finna be 10 months. In about two months, you're gonna see more bone, you're gonna see more girth, you're gonna see more head, you're gonna see more neck, man. Best of the best, man. East to the west, man. No play play. Best of the best, man. This is our little mate brother, Roku, located DFW, 1500. Uh, lock in. Hey man, who knew? Roku, man, $1,500. $500 lock in. These two are little mates. Look how small he is, five inches tall, man. Smaller than the, than the, than the semen shipping box. Purple tri female right here. Throne daughter. She's directly off the of throne. She's a crown granddaughter. She's also a lemon drop granddaughter. I bred a lemon drop daughter to the smallest crown son in the world, RIP throne. Can't go wrong with. Roku, and you damn sure can't go wrong with Polo. Shout out to that boy Yard Down. He sent me some semen in the middle of the night. Got me right. Polo, chocolate try, two time Veneno, uh, Charles Pimpin' Brown. It's going down, man. Purple try, female bred to the one and only Polo. Best of the best from the east to the west, man. We finna get this shit consistent, man. Let's get it. Yard Down, 30 Rich again. Purple tribe female. You see it directly from Aspen. We got receipts with this. You know what I'm saying? We got 98% motility. You know what I'm saying? We got 90% uh, morphology. Uh, oh, semen count. 129 million. 516 billion. Directly from Aspen. This pack came from California. Overnight it. You know what I'm saying? They caught a flight at probably 4 or 5 in the morning with this. My boy picked it up around 12 o'clock from uh, Southwest Cargo. This east to the west, man. Purple try, chocolate try. It's the best of the best stuff. We finna put a neck on her. We finna put a bull head on her. She gonna shrink it. You see her litter mates. How many, how much is that? Directly off a throne. Crown granddaughter. Lemon drop granddaughter. Going to that boy Polo. We finna shrink this shit. We finna put more head on this bit. Full tail on that shit. Neck, spread. East to the west, best of the best, man. No play play, top dollar kennel CEO, here I go. Yard down, top dollar, breeding. Purple try. Crazy bold, head, neck, shoulder. Man, the puppy's got to eat, Brody. I'm finna go over there, little head boy. <laughs> what you at, my granny house? Nah, I just left him over there. Alright. Top Dollar Kennel Splint, man. We at the headquarters, man. The first to ever do it. Carmel and 10, carrying pink. Isabella. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has this color. We was the first to produce this color in the, uh, the DFW, the Metroplex. Uh, we've been working hard, grinding for some time now. Um, we just ended the year off right, you know what I'm saying? The year started off a little a little rocky, but uh, this is how you finish the year off right. We've been producing. You know, you can't say Top Dollar Kendall Swim is not producing. We've been producing, selling dogs, you know, and we're not going to stop. We're going to come into the new year, you know, staying uh, on the same, the same mission as we left 2023 off with. And uh, 2024 is going to be even better, man. We're going to be producing more of these and uh, just cooking it up better every time we breed. This bitch is so hard, fool. I'm going to bring her around and see if we can fuck with her a little bit. Make sure, you know? This right here is a litter mate. Hey, this right here is uh, the litter mate sister to this caramel and tan, uh, carrying pink and Isabella. This is a chocolate pie female off of a Harriet Tubman. She has uh, exclusive DNA 
uh, whenever she come to heat, I'm gonna be cooking up some, you know, sauce for her. Um, her DNA is real big to the point where to produce the next level Frenchie, you're gonna need uh, her DNA. So it's gonna be good. 2024. I got a little Brenda on it. That hoe gotta go. <laughs> so look, I got the best head piece though. Hell yeah, and the, and the structure too. Yeah, this roughly. Uh, this right here is a karate body uh, female. Right here, they just hit uh, a month old. <clears throat> got a few of these in the litter. Um, it's like three of them, three females and two, two males. So, uh, karate body male. God damn, shut up. Is that a hollering monkey? <laughs> this is a female right here. Man, so this is direct karate body right here bred to a female off a of fat boy bred to his mom, right? So you know what that is, right? Two times, Lil Mayo. Fat boy's mom is a Lil Mayo daughter. Fat boy is off a of bait bred to a Lil Mayo daughter. So they bred fat boy back to his mom, Miss Lil Mayo up close. And then that's the bottom side, the top side, is Karate Body. Karate Body is off Boogie, bred to a Da Vinci daughter. Da Vinci is a from overseas. Boogie is a uh, top producer stud in California. He was one of the hottest dogs of 2023. About six months ago, he was the hottest dog, you know, in California besides Crown. So if you want a male or a female, off some uh, up close, two times uh, Le Mayo, with the boogie, with the Da Vinci, come hit up my boy, man. He got Fort Knox Merle up in there. Gula King. That's it. I like that. I like that. Hit yeah, us up, man. Yeah, I got a good little face structure in here, too. <laughs>